what is an accessible pedestrian signal? How does it even work? And do they actually work? We're going to answer all those questions for you today right here. Hi, I'm Cassie Maloney. I'm an orientation and mobility specialist and the founder of Allied Independence. We provide 21st century teaching techniques to all teachers who work with people with visual impairments so that way you guys can help increase their independence without burning out. Today, we're going over accessible pedestrian devices, basically the one-on-one -on -one of it. What are they? How do they work? And do they even work? So an accessible pedestrian signal can only really be understood if you know what a ped head or pedestrian signal head is. The ped head is the light across the intersection that is telling the pedestrian whether or not it's safe to walk or not. You might see this as words that say walk. You might see this as an actual hand. Something maybe says don't walk. Or you might see it as a person silhouette um, in white lights that turns on. Those are the lights of a ped head. Now, an accessible pedestrian signal is actually attached to the pet head and it gives the information to the pedestrian in a non-visual format. So we're talking about like those sounds that you might hear, sometimes there are words, or also sometimes there's a tactile vibration that can happen and that lets people with visual impairments know if it is safe to cross the street or not. Main question is, does it work? We'll answer that at the very end. So then the next question is, how do APS devices work? Well, most of them have a button and you need to press the correct button and then go line up correctly with the curb. And then you can wait and listen to hear if it's going to actually make the sound that you want it to make. So we'll go press the pad button. We're gonna press the one over here. They each go to two different ways. And had I lined up, I would be able to cross right now. So let's pretend I did that. I've lined up. Now, typically what we want to do is we want to cross with our parallel traffic here. But there's not going to be any parallel traffic. So you might be able to see the white light behind me and hear the audible signal. And now the cars are starting to cross. So in that case, it's really important that a person with a visual impairment be able to hear the signal because there are no cars going on their parallel side. As orientation and mobility specialists, we teach our students to cross with the nearest parallel traffic. That's going to be the traffic that is along your side, whether they are going in the same direction as you or whether they're going in the opposite direction, it's still the traffic that doesn't cross you. It's along your side. That accessible pedestrian signal actually told me to go when it was in the middle of the cycle. It's actually not safe for people with visual impairments to cross during that time. So now we're leaning into the question of do they actually work? Sometimes. And what do you do if they don't? We'll go over that in other videos. Now, that's just one example of an accessible pedestrian signal and how it's actually working at the intersection. If you're an orientation and mobility specialist and you want to know why the APS device went off before the cars actually started going, or if you have questions as to how we would teach this, or maybe even how we would advocate for it, stay tuned for future videos because I have got you covered.